Thank you for viewing this video of Talisman's fleet management application for digital two-way radio solutions. It can be used in diverse industries such as student transportation, electric and gas utilities, waste management, mining applications and many more. The fleet management application helps fleet operators manage mobile assets, increases personal safety, audits vehicle ranks in response to customer inquiries and provides comprehensive reports to help them manage their business more efficiently. I'll start by logging into the system using a standard web browser. You'll be presented with a map view showing the location of uh, vehicles on a map and the icon indicates uh, the location of this vehicle SIM2 and shows the direction of travel and you'll notice also there's some breadcrumb uh, trail behind it showing the uh, where the vehicle has come from. On the right hand side here we have a command window showing all of the fleets that have been assigned to you based on your login credentials. Dispatchers can have the ability to, if they're looking for a specific vehicle, um, they can center it on a map. And you'll notice here a pop-up window shows the last time that uh, vehicle reported, and the status of the um, uh, telemetry inputs, an actual address. This address is, is derived from uh, the GPS report, uh, longitude and latitude, then the system reverse geocodes that to an actual address. This is particularly uh, important when uh, reviewing reports to uh, give you an indication of where that uh, vehicle was for that period of, uh, for a particular period. The report also shows the uh, speed and uh, direction that the uh, vehicle is headed in. Map have standard zoom in and zoom out capabilities and also you can view certain layers if I click on the icon here you'll notice that the Google Roadmaps is selected I can uh, select a different uh, style of map or uh, go back to my Google Roadmaps so again I can um, if I'm interested in um, uh, an immediate update on the location of a vehicle I can send a GPS request you see the command was sent and it was successful again a pop-up window shows uh, the um, information related to that vehicle in response to uh, customer um, inquiries as to um, where a vehicle might have been uh, for the last uh, for a period of time I can do a quick uh, route replay on uh, the vehicle for the last hour or the last 24 hours. I'll just select the last hour to uh, so the command goes out to the uh, database and it returns uh, the position reports for the last hour. You can select a, a certain uh, time period click on it and you'll see the location of the vehicle and uh, the status information pertaining to that vehicle, the GPS information and also if there is a Talisman Sprite installed in the vehicle it gives you additional information such as uh, the odometer and um, the status of the telemetry inputs. I can um, click on the play here and you'll notice the uh, route replay for that vehicle the speed of this route replay can be uh, conf it's configurable based in your setup um, uh, file. I'll just stop this, go back to the map display. We also have the ability to uh, create um, geofences. Um, so I can uh, select a point on the map, any point on the map. Uh, and create a uh, geofence like for that uh, particular device. 
and now I can save it and call it uh, Geo1. This is particularly useful when uh, for setting up um, uh, reports as to when a vehicle entered or left a particular area. So this could be a, uh, a depot and you can create a report based upon vehicles entering or leaving this um, geofence. Now editing that geofence is a very simple so I'll go and edit this geofence now and I'll click on a I can just drag click on any of these icons here and drag them off to uh, change the size of the icon um, and I can save that. So that's the G, uh, geofence functionality. Now if we uh, move to the update tab now the update tab has three um, sub tabs here. One is all. So all of the data messages that are uh, received by the application will be displayed in this tab. Now dispatchers who are interested in um, specific events such as speeding events or uh, enter or exit geofences, anything that relates to their operation they can create custom filters based upon custom, the custom and alerts. You'll see in the custom the geofence and text messages are, um, are filtered here and on alerts I've just got a text message. Now the way you set these filters up is click on the icon here and you notice these custom so all of these events here have been selected to appear in the custom tab and all of these events on the right hand side status messages emergency and speeding events in the alerts tab so I can show you uh, an example of this by um, sending a uh, text message to a vehicle you'll notice um, so if I send this text message one I'll send that the command is successful and now you'll see a an alert uh, pops up now this alert will stay there until such time as I uh, click the icon here this is with particularly useful when an, an emergency comes in you'll get a, an audio sound associated with this alert as well I'll just shut that down we also just have a, uh, a view that uh, shows the map and also the um, update tab on the same view. So I can uh, select, um, move the size of the uh, screens here. So I'll go back to the mapping tab. Talisman's um, Responsive web design allows this application to be viewed on um, devices such as PCs, tablets or uh, smartphones. And you will notice as I uh, change the size of the screen here, see it always focuses on the vehicle, but now the command um, tab has, uh, is hidden. I can bring this back at any time by clicking on the sidebar here. This is obviously very useful for supervisory people that may be in the field that uh, want to get a snapshot of uh, where a particular vehicle might be. We have uh, reports as well so I can click on reports and um, there are a number of canned reports, pre-canned reports that we've uh, generated. I will select the uh, daily summary report. This gives an overview basically of um, what every vehicle in the fleet has um, um, reported for the day. Now these reports can be automatically emailed to management personnel at, at the start of a day. So the daily summary report shows um, the number of data messages sent every 15 minutes gives you an indication of uh, 
um, the data load on your uh, radio system. It also shows the types of messages that um, are being sent. Here is uh, periodic, which is typically five minute reports um, from each vehicle. We have um, bus stop, geofence and IO. These are um, typically would be um, more comprehensive type applications such as uh, school bus tracking where you want to know uh, um, when a bus arrives at a stop and departs from a stop. So the report show, gives you a, a record for each vehicle that you've been monitoring. So we've got a separate um, summary for each vehicle. And you'll notice here the first, this particular report shows the uh, first location of the day and the time, the last location of the, uh, of the day and the time, and also the if you have a smart telematics device installed it will show you the mileage uh, traveled by that vehicle. Again on the right hand side it gives you a summary of uh, the number of uh, GPS reports, uh, bus stop uh, events and also how many geofences uh, this particular um, mobile device uh, entered or exited. At the top here we have uh, a summary of uh, the busiest um, school bus 303 created uh, 1575 records. Um, the fastest, this one SIM1 one, went uh, 56 miles per hour and also uh, the top uh, mileage uh, driven by a particular vehicle on a, on a day. So these uh, reports uh, can be downloaded in uh, in the form of a CSV file or as I said emailed. Above the uh, command icon here we have uh, uh, some uh, icons here that indicate the status of the system. Um, basically shows you that uh, your web browser is, is connected to the server, uh, that the radio system is fully functional and that you're connected to the database. This gives you a quick overview of um, uh, the status of the system. Uh, even though the uh, user interface is very intuitive, we do provide a online help that you can view at any time. Just to give you a, a little reminder as to uh, the functions of uh, all of the um, features in the system. And we also have a uh, settings tab here that allows you to um, configure things like breadcrumbs, how many breadcrumbs are behind the vehicle. On a route replay, it shows you uh, the speed, or the uh, you can run it slow or fast, um, and the um, also you can configure either the name or that will appear next to an icon of a vehicle, or a uh, if you are interested in the speed or the type of event that generated it, you can configure it here. So I'll just save those changes. So that concludes the short demonstration of Talisman's fleet management application. For more information, please contact John Seymour at talisman.com or call uh, 1-613-591-3131. Thank you.